Uh, lately, I, I, the economy in West Song, uh, amazing. Uh, I, I like some of the lyrics I heard in it, but my son, uh, my, my uh, second to youngest, Cage, that's his song, he loves it, you know, so it's one of those things where now I kind of do it for, my, for him, you know, he says, oh, dad, no, you know, ah. you know, he goes, you know, we'll get in the car, and he goes, hey, dad, you know, put on amazing. So, I, you know, as a father, you know, you do things for your children. Uh, the competition of, uh, of, of martial arts has never been so much about beating up a guy. I always looked at the martial arts as an expression of myself. I wanted to test myself out and see what my training, what it amounted to. Going out there was it was a test of everything I've done, you know? The things my father tells me, the philosophies I live by, you know, how I'm treating my wife, how I'm as a father, the, the people I surround myself with, the books that I read, the training regimen I put myself in, my coaches, my partners, all these things combined to now test out these theories, because, you know, they're a hypothesis, then a theory, and then we go out there, you know, and boom, we, we, we have a fight against another human being that's trained very hard, too. And then we get to go out there, win or lose, break down what, hey, you know what, this was great, this was not so great, we need to work on this, and this is why I think we'll improve it. Well then, we don't know if it improved it until the next fight, and until the next competition, and that's why I fight and why I want to be, you know, that's what drove me to fighting in the UFC. I think versatile. I think that my fighting style now, I think that uh, I haven't really shown an affinity towards one aspect. I mean, obviously I'm very good at the submissions because I like the finality of it. You know, and you sit there and if you're able to make sure someone's arm doesn't work anymore for the next few minutes in a fight, it's a pretty good tool, you know, and breaking someone's leg. That can be a very good tool if you're in that situation where you need to survive. And the ultimate to me is, I mean, we've seen guys like a Mark Hunt and Roy Nelson, right? You can't knock these guys out with a, you know, a, a, a tank. Uh, but guess what? Anybody can slip on a rear naked choke. If the guy doesn't know how to defend it, putting someone to sleep is uh, uh, probably the most effective way. So I think that's why I've always, even though I very much enjoy striking in the arts, and I think it's an aspect, especially defending strikes, and moving your head and moving in, going for them and hitting the person in the body, these are all effective tools. But to me, I think the king of them all is the submission. Coming back from my injuries, I think, in my professional career, was the greatest, you know, a show of willpower. And, and I think that way it's also a learning tool that I can teach my children or anybody else that's, you know, that, that is curious and, and, and looks for how to overcome obstacles that I can show them firsthand laboratory work. Say, well, this is my life and this is what happened. Here I went to an ultimate high of winning the heavyweight title to losing the title because I broke my leg in a, in a, in a motorcycle accident and so unable to defend it. And so uh, I think coming back from that, then coming back through all those and all the things and battles I had to beat Noguera coming off of the reality show and then to win back the, uh, at that time it became the interim title, but a heavyweight title again for the UFC, when two or three years before, if you told anybody that, they'd laughed at you, and myself included. I think the UFC is so popular because it's the embodiment of what people have watched for years now. I mean, think about it. In the 80s, we watched Van Damme, Steven Seagal. We made movies about guys that could kick butt and take names. And now we have these athletes that are actually out there doing it. There is no, uh, you know, I wonder what he would do in a street fight. Well, it's like, well, there's punches, kicks, takedowns, and chokes. The guy seems to be kicking people's butt at it. I think he'd do pretty good. So I think there's just, uh, you know, an awe of what, it, you know, that these are real live movie heroes, you know. Or villains, I guess it depends how you look at the, the fighter, uh, come to life. Two things I'm looking most forward to professionally is, uh, you know, uh, fighting for the heavyweight title here, May 26th against Junior Dos Santos, who's uh, one of the prodigies of, uh, uh, protégés of uh, Antonio Nogueira. Um, so that's a huge highlight to go up. I'm going for a third title. You know, if I am able to be successful that night, I'll be the only three-time heavyweight champ the UFC's ever had. You know, so it's just one more accolade that I can add to bragging rights. So when I'm old and my parents or my children, you know, children's children, my grandchildren don't pay attention to me, I can have a cool story, maybe to get them to come over and hang out with grandpa. 